we are going to do the same thing with the answer section and let's get this questions and again we in here we need the third element and we're going to retrieve the answer and finally we're going to uh, use the default case so this default case will not uh, it does not have any attribute so it's also going to store uh, see it's also going to create two new variables questions and this default one will be the second element in, because we um, the reason behind the default one be, being the second element is because we already created a we created a parameter and passed along a value of two. So even if the user or the bra or the visitor, even if he does not want to, even if he uh, forgets or maybe even if he does not click on any of the links that contains all these questions, even then will he will be displayed with a default question and answer and we have chosen the default value to be the second element so in here too for the default part it needs the default case part perhaps it needs to be the second element cf set and we're going to create the answer variable and we're going to store uh, the second elements answer structure and we are good to go and finally we need to output this and look through all of these questions so let's create this uh, CF output so inside the CF output what we need to do is we can even use um, HTML in here if you want to so I would actually recommend you to use the new specifications of HTML and CSS. So the new HTML version is HTML5. You can even use HTML5 and style your um, scripts with CSS3. Uh, you can use HTML5 elements. You can use CSS3, the declared language to style the layout. But I'm just only focusing on how to use this cold fusion tags and how to use this um, CFM script, how to utilize that on our browser. So I won't go very far with the HTML specifications or using these HTML elements. So if you have some ideas about how to use HTML, you can go ahead. But if you are quite new to HTML or HTML5 maybe, then you can check out w3c.org. They have all sorts of uh, tutorials on HTML, CSS, ASP.NET, PHP, and uh, tons of others. So now let's get back to this part. We are going to produce the questions. And inside our questions, we are going to pass along. Um, we're going to pass along the uh, power questions um, yep we're going to pass along the array of question and this will have the um, numeric value of questions and this will get stored inside uh, this will retrieve the question from the requested URL and let's use the br tag oh i haven't finished it off yep closing br closing pound symbol and then again we can pass along the answer so let's correct this and similarly we're going to um, use the pound symbols and inside this pound symbols we're going to um, pass along the value stored inside this URL structure uh, 
and this time we're going to retrieve the answer only so we're done with our CF output tag and now we need to create the CF loop tags so um, in here what we need to do is create the CF loop and we're going to start the index from 1 I guess you remember everything that we d we have done in this conditional script we're just replicating what we have done earlier with a different name you can even use uh, you can even do the same thing in one go using the CF script tags but I'm also showing you how to do that using the CF switch statements uh, CF switch um, tags or elements uh, that comes that's the uh, unique feature in cold fusion so we are just doing the same thing in here we're going to uh, start our index from one and we are going to retrieve the arrows length using the arrow length uh, function and we're going to store that inside the index of question uh, in but in here we have used ifaq but we're going to change that name to I question and we're going to output that using our CF output now what we need to do in here is that um, this is a blank one yep so let's to and we need to use the pound symbols array Arlen, and we need to uh, pass along the questions uh, questions arrow that we recently created and then again uh, we're going to create an index and this index will have I questions now inside this we need to use the CF output tag and the CF output will have the let's use bold in here right now so we need to um, question and what we can do in here is we need to pass along um, we need to pass along an anchor tag and inside this href uh, inside this href attribute of the anchor tag what we're going to do is we're going to pass in along a query string and inside this query string we're going to use this uh, questions array that we created and we're going to assign um, we're going to assign the uh, we're going to assign the questions and uh, so I need to use the pound symbol and inside this we pass along the I questions and then we retrieve the ID so I guess we are done and uh, I guess there's a small thing that needs to be done in here too so uh, yep so we have passed along the query string like we have done in here it's just the same thing but um, oh yeah I made a mistake so this should have been uh, inside uh, this should have been the ID perhaps yeah and we need to use oh yeah I haven't passed along inside this tag I haven't passed along anything so let's get uh, the questions array again and this time we're going to um, use the index and again and now we need to retrieve the question 
so let's increase the size for better visibility and I think we are done let's save this um, yep so once I show you the output once I show you how the output looks I'm going to explain everything in here and I'll mostly focus on how to use this CF switch so you do understand what's going on behind the scenes because the rest of the script except the CF switch case statements uh, perhaps the tags and the ID structure everything is the same thing so nothing has changed actually it's what has changed is I've just changed the name I've used the CF switch instead of the uh, if else statements and I have changed the default value that's it now everything is just the same the code the questions the answers the structure the array I've also used the single dimensional array here so let's save this and let's fire up our browser and let's see how it's going to um, behave once we try to create it on our browser so if you see if you look at carefully oh, I guess I made a mistake um, yeah the script is fine if you click this uh, the, yeah I made a mistake it cannot be converted into a number so the mistake I made in here is that I have um, 